a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So this one right here is a DC house. This is a Holdwell. Um, just right off the top, the, uh, the Holdwell is a longer stroke than the DC house and they have nearly the same weight. Um, that already tells you a whole lot by itself. It comes with a thicker gauge wire and you can tell the load when you put it on. Um, it's, it's definitely stronger. Another thing I like about the DC house is this valve body block is steel, whereas the Holdwell has an aluminum block. If you're trying to save weight, you might want the aluminum block, but I want the strength, reliability, and longevity that you're gonna get only out of the steel valve body block. Also, the rear eyelets, look at the difference. It just all in all, it's, it's definitely better. The end eyelets here, there's some pitting, but you can tell that it's a cast steel block. This one here also has a steel block. It appears to be machined, but it doesn't have the girth. I don't know if you can see, but just far better. At the time that I bought these, I didn't know anything about either one of them. I just knew they had the spec sheets that I wanted. Um, your pressures can be adjusted right here in the valve body. I, I suggest minimal adjustment, just adjust what you need. But don't mind the scratches. I've already done tests on both of them, so they've gotten a little use on them. Okay, guys. I'm gonna start off with a little speed test here. Let's see how they do. Don't mind the difference in length. This one is an eight inch stroke, this is a 10 inch. It's based on application, you can get either one either way. And this battery is not big enough, however, it should draw evenly, so we'll get an accurate reading of which is faster. Well, I see here the whole well is much faster. 